teacher from England. And that was me playing uh, a drum piece on the snare drum that I learned way back in 1970 when I was 12. Uh, back in those days, I used to have a drum kit and I was gigging, but I also used to play in a marching band called the Hornchurch Drum and Trumpet Corps. And uh, they used to do sort of contemporary music for the time, like the Beatles and Tom Jones stuff. And also they used to do a lot of traveling. They used to go all around Britain, all around Europe. So it was a good gig. Now, when I was uh, playing with them, what was great about it, the instructor used to make us come away from the drum. A lot of military drummers tend to push in and play down. We used to play up. So this piece, we used to work on trying to come away from the drum and drawing the sound out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you uh, some exercises to play the piece. Now, if you can read music, at the end of this lesson, I put up this, which is the, I've transcribed it, and you can play it with me at the end of the lesson if you can read music, okay? So what we need to firstly work on, and what, what we used to work on in those days, is something called a seven-stroke roll. A seven-stroke roll is left, left, right, right, left, left, right. And the last right is accented. Now what I'd like you to do, get some drumsticks, practice pad, and uh, I'm going to go over now and play a seven-stroke roll. And in those days, we used to do it from slow to fast. So why don't you get some drumsticks and do it with me, okay? Now the other element you need to work on is flams. If you don't know what a flam is, a flam is firstly, if you do a right-handed flam, you do a, a very quiet left hand before the right. If you say the word flam, the quiet note is fl and the big note is am. So first we do a right-handed flam and then we do it the other way around. We start with a little right and then an accented left. Alternating <coughs> flam. So if you get your sticks, Let's go and do some alternating flams. Now for this piece you need to be able to play a, a, a flam paradiddle. Now a paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. <clears throat> but you have to flam the first right. So it's a, a flam right. So following this left, right, right, then the flam left, right, left, left. So if you know how to do a flam paradiddle, let's go over to the practice pad and do it together, getting it faster and faster. to work on is a flam tap. A flam tap is very simple. You do a right-handed flam and then you do a right-handed tap. Then you do a left-handed flam and you do a left-handed tap. So if you know how to do that, let's go over to the practice pad and do it together from slow to fast. off I'm going to play the solo again uh, you can play it with me because you're going to see this sheet I transcribed it back in those days I couldn't read music when I was 12 I learned it all by ear uh, but eventually I did learn to read music because I'm a professional drummer and I, I studied with a legendary uh, drum teacher Bob Armstrong and we got all that together